What's up, everybody? We've got an interesting one today. This I need your help on. It is a pre foreclosure in Manor, Texas. And the payoff amount for this property is about 400K, uh, somewhere in that range. And the arrears are 125. And the arrears are included in this total payout of 400K. PITI is about 2100 bucks, and the seller seems to think they've got 50k in equity that they deserve. And yeah, I'm not sure if they deserve it or not. Uh, I know I have my thoughts, but so let's check it out and see if anything makes sense here. And we kind of checked it out. Long-term rentals are about 2500 bucks in the area, and then so let's just run it at. 2,500 bucks. The PITI is around 2,100. So we'll reduce this down uh, to that eight. We do know that the house is about 20 years old and the roof and the two air conditioning systems are the same. You see it's a four bedroom, four bath, 4,000 square feet, but it's a huge house. So it's going to need a bunch of work to get it just on major mechanicals updated, air conditioning, you know, HVAC, and the roof. So, gosh, we're probably at 50K just right there. I mean, we could list it as is. I'm just not sure. Uh, let's see. There's 121, 125,000 with the arrears here. So, we'll put that in the arrears side. Cash to seller, they say they want something, but as you can see, that's not going to fly. Airbnb, rent by the room, pad split will probably get about 5K a month. And, you know, that, that looks okay. That doesn't look terrible. Uh, the problem is we have an entry fee of almost $200,000. And if we add private money in there, where does that leave us, right? Like, not, not too good. 10%, 12%. We're talking 1800 bucks and that leaves us with uh, not much room to grow there. So I am uh, looking for your, your all's help. If anybody is interested in this deal, this offer's not a deal yet. It's just an opportunity. Please reach out to me and I will put my phone number in the link below or in the text somewhere. Uh, I'm just checking to make sure I'm not missing anything. PITI is 2100 bucks. The total purchase price of the house is about 400000 And the arrears are about 125. dollars There's some HOA arrears in there. Uh, plus the payments are about 100000 100, HOA is like 12000 or something. But it totals about one twenty five. So we could leave this as is, you know, not fixing it or anything. And, you know, you get a, you're starting to get a little better return, I suppose. But I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thank you all. Appreciate it.